Steve McRae has presented this man, Earl David Warden, as a good man, an innocent man. So what's the problem? Well, Earl David Warden is a convicted rapist. He's also a serial rapist. And he's currently under indictment right now for raping his own child. And the narrative that's being put out is that Earl David Warden is an honorable man. Person, but at least we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and believe him because I think that uh, he's an honorable guy. Now, Steve has said that he believes that the rapes, the serial rapes, I'm assuming, were consensual. I, would, I, I believe it was consensual, but that's my opinion, right? I'm allowed to have that opinion. That doesn't make me a rape apologist. So, yeah, if you Steve wanted McRae. to like, tell your story about that, that's cool. I mean, I don't know much about it, so I'm down Ooh. to listen. All right, Steve McRae, Cheshire and Reds were really annoyed with me because I made a video called Steve McRae Rape Apologetics 101. <laughs> Sorry if you get demonetized. I oh, I know. Who, no, it's Can't called Fiona. Myself. Fiona, now I know who you are. I remember everybody loves Fiona. I love Fiona. You Okay, I know who you are now. I'm, I'm, I've learned of you recently. Um, You were talking on the Nikki thing, so welcome. Um, Don't worry about yeah. what you can swear or whatever. I do it all here, so go for it. Go ahead. Okay. So they were really annoyed with me for making that video. Red's Rhetoric made a rebuttal video, which rebutted me for doing something I hadn't done, so I didn't bother responding. Waste of time. And then the Leslie Bass fundraiser came around in November of 2019. And this plot had been a month in the making. I found this out later. And in the middle so, of the fundraiser... On. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to make sure I'm understanding. So Leslie Bass had the fundraiser, right? Um, what was, it was, was that on Steve's for channel. For Steve's channel? It was on Steve's channel. Okay. And it was because... Katie Joy has supposedly struck Leslie Bass's channel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Leslie right. Bass's channel was still up, though. But anyway, during the okay. fundraiser, they hatched their little plot. And Cheshire Vic announced to the world, Fiona Robertson sexually assaulted Red's Rhetoric what? at JFK. Right. She then repeated that accusation another two times. And she specified not sexually harassed, sexually assaulted him i can uh, i i can say on pretty good authority that um a good friend of ours red's rhetoric was sexually assaulted by fiona at jfk i know that story uh-huh using the same reasoning yeah uh -huh. if not physically i mean physically yeah, sexually yeah, assaulted, like actually yeah. sexually assaulted by this woman <clears throat> How about this? But we'll, just, we'll just call her the person that sexually harassed Red's rhetoric. How about that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's oh. Not cool. Sorry, it wasn't that's, harassed. That's it was not cool. Assault. What? That, that means you actually hurt him and, physically. And that's why you've not seen a lot of me around. Wow. That's why my Twitter is locked. Because they involved Defango in it. And every Fiona, time was it, Fiona, wasn't that over a side hug? Sorry? Wasn't that accusation made over you giving him a side hug? Oh, wait a minute. So you did know him in real life. Okay, this I don't know any of this stuff. I'm, yeah, I met him at JFK. We all met up in New York. I flew out from Scotland. Oh, okay. I didn't know. The airport, now I know. I, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm right. like a lost cause. So you met up in New York, and then, okay, you gave him a yeah. side hug. So you side hugged him. Well, he was actually he was actually all over me. There is a photograph of the oh, actual boy. assault in air quotes in question. When I have my elbow in his chest and he's towering over me with both arms around me, that was me sexually assaulting him. Well, okay, let me ask you this, Fiona. Now, okay. Just you, uh -huh. so you got who who met up? Was it you and Steve in him or who? No. It was Dragnaut, Red's Rhetoric. At the airport to meet me was Red's and Red's girlfriend. Okay. So she was there taking the pictures. Um, JD Kane. Mm -hmm. um, Shadow Tear. Okay. A whole bunch of the old um, Great Debate community people. We all, all right. met up in New York in 2017. Okay. So wasn't, you wasn't it for Jade's day? funeral? Didn't one of the Great Debate no. die? Oh, it was a no, different Jade's time? funeral. Jade's funeral was September 2018. So a year and a half later. All right. So you guys California. meet up. 
you guys meet up. You're you're saying he was all over you, whatever. And then next thing you know, Steve has a, a fundraiser for LB on his channel. And meanwhile, while he's having this fundraiser for LB on his channel, uh, Cheshire and them are saying that you sexually assaulted Red's rhetoric. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. Why? That's what, what they did. Would, why would they say that? What do they gain from that? Uh, what's the motive here? Well, Cheshire explained it. And it's because of the defence that Steve had done of the convicted arpist, right? Steve had oh, been defending oh, uh, a convicted... Yeah, what's that guy? The, yeah, the, you know um, that guy well. Yeah, the auditing guy, yeah. News Now Houston or one yeah. of the News Now guys, yeah. Yeah, so Cheshire's reasoning was, this is brilliant, I just, she says, I just threw the accusation out there. I gave no more details. But it means if anybody dares to defend Fiona now, then there are apologists as well. So they shouldn't be calling Steve one. In other words, on the shills live stream, she admitted she'd made it up for a stupid, what she called layered argument. She'd made it all up. What the fuck? I think we should uh, like elaborate on that as much as we can. Oh, okay. So, all right. So uh, the argument that she's talking about or the thing that was said was by me. And the argument is part of a layered argument that we went over in the five hour stream. Um, and it's essentially that what I had said was that uh, somebody named Fiona had sexually assaulted Red's rhetoric. Um, and I'm taking that off of the word of the victim, which would be Red's. And I purposefully did not give any other information. I just made the allegation. Um, part of that was uh, part of a layered argument that has to do with a number of people and these people specifically calling Steve a rape apologist. So by their definition, if they don't believe me about Fiona, they're all rape apologists. That's essentially the, the argument that's being made. Um, the second half of that is that I happen to trust and believe Reds. So if that's not good enough for them, then it's not good enough to be calling Steve a rape apologist now, is it? That's 100%, mm. absolutely, positively. I happen to believe this guy. I, I, I've talked to his best friend. He believes him wholeheartedly. His fans believe him. And, he, you know, he has a huge, huge dedicated fan base. Uh, if I'm wrong on that, okay. Then I just made a judgment in, uh, an error in judgment. And I'll, I'll say, okay, I fucked up. Big yeah. deal. I'm not, I'm not a perfect person. But I at least will give him the benefit of the doubt and believe him because I think that uh, he's an honorable guy. Huh? Okay, so let me get this straight. But, right? <laughs> it, gets, it gets better. Last October. I, I just got to keep October. up. I got to keep up, Fiona. I got to keep up. So I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear the next part till I digest this one. Forgive me. So, all right. So they have the stream. All right. You're saying that she admittedly. So at the time, Steve was catching a lot of heat for sticking up for some scumbag, you know, sexual abuser. Right. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Trisha is like, well, 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 Fiona did it to Red's rhetoric. So, like, why is everybody talking mm -hmm. about Steve? Like, in other words, you're telling me she was like, why don't you go bother Fiona and leave us alone kind of thing? Basically, that, that, okay. that's what it was. If you want, if you're going to defend Fiona, then you can't condemn Steve. Okay. All right. Now I see. Okay. Right. Thank yeah. you. For, thank you for so answering my was, question. Go go on with the story. Go ahead. <laughs> so it was all. It was made up as as a, a, and she called it a layered argument, and she aired her layered argument on the shells. That episode of the shells is now unlisted. The I shells. What's the name? Shells. Of the S H I. LLS oh. shills. She unlisted it, huh? Why would she? Uh, it's so weird. What the shills unlisted their episode. The hmm. three videos where Cheshire made this accusation are blocked in the UK under defamation laws. And um, then last October, so that's October 2021. Mm -hmm. So we're now nearly two years after it had all happened, and a good 21 months after Cheshire admitted it was false. Mm -hmm. Manya went out on Twitter and she put out 44 tweets in 48 hours repeating the false accusation. How many? 44 tweets in 48 hours? 44 tweets in 48 hours. Repeating the false accusation. She put them out on Twitter. Yes. And meanwhile, I, I've been locked down on Twitter now for, I think, over a year because if I'm not locked down, then all these Defango sock accounts appear. Wow. and start calling me a pervert wow have you ever gotten any strange emails by any chance nope okay. i keep my email very quiet so i just i just but, uh, everything 
Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. And that's why I keep saying to people, be careful. They're willing to go further than you expect. Now, I'll say one thing, though. At the time, Red Rhetoric did an interview, a sensitive interview, as the victim of a mm -hmm. sexual assault. Mm. And what he said was, I wouldn't call what Fiona did sexual assault. But that didn't matter. The damage was already didn't done. Didn't matter. That he, exactly. And he knew it. Since the question is out there on the internet ether, I'm going to go ahead and explain the Fiona situation because I'm done dealing with this shit. I am not going to label Fiona, what Fiona did as assault. I just, that, okay. help me understand. Capable. Help me understand. So, so Fiona, we know that they, they push narratives and say things that whatever, but like, I just don't get, um, did they not like you? Like why? go to that links and for what reason i just don't i can't understand it so you if they wanted sympathy to bring people in the fundraiser like what was the reasoning of doing that i, I can't grasp that because i made that video calling oh, steve yeah. mccray out okay 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 i'm sorry right I forgot because about yeah because in def to defend the convicted rapist there's a guy who was convicted okay. Okay, now he was I, suspected of being a serial abuser and okay. who is currently awaiting trial for abusing his oh own children. Oh my god, so what the hell? How did I not know this freaking story? Why have I been under the planet? I guess that's crazy, Fiona. Because my Twitter is locked down, that's why. So everybody obviously knows that like that didn't happen, and you obviously, <laughs> oh my god, you side hugged somebody and then got called. Oh my god, you poor thing, you poor thing. That's not it's fair. Late. Listen, th that's why I, I, I get worried for you ladies, because of how far they are willing to go. Steve was telling lies about the case of the convicted guy to try and exonerate him. He was lying about things like, it was his 17-year-old girlfriend, she was just slightly underage. 17 is legal in Texas, so it wouldn't have been a problem. She was a 23-year-old stranger. How old? 21? He impersonated it. She was 23. She was a stranger. He impersonated a cop. He pretended to arrest her. He put her in zip ties and he drove her somewhere secluded. And he oh, threatened her with a gun. Yeah. That, and that, Steve that. tried to defend it. Why and would I called it out. Oh my God. Yeah, that guy is a piece of crap. The guy you just explained is a I, I know him from the auditing yeah. community. Earl, Earl Warden is his real name. Like he is a piece of shit. Yes. Like, yes. Right. That's him. Yeah, that's heard, him. Well, yeah. Steve, de Steve defended him, and he didn't like that I called him out on the defense. I didn't have a problem that he platformed the guy. It's his own channel; he can do what he wants. It was the defense of him. Right. It's not what you call right. it. I, or just admit it. Just admit it's it. The like, oh, he was I calling it a smear campaign. He he could have mm -hmm. said like I didn't even know about that or whatever. It's just like the thing. He's such a weird guy. Like the, I don't understand how. Yeah. He it's so, it doesn't make no sense to me. Like the lengths these people will go to to die on the hill. Like mm -hmm. it's just crazy. But the thing is, Steve couldn't say Steve couldn't say he didn't know, because twenty four hours before he had him on, one of his subs warned him about the guy. Didn't he tell me he didn't know that? And, Remember and when I had Steve on? Didn't he say he didn't yeah. know? Yes. Yeah. Why? Yes. I think that's why he well, asked me to interview him. Twenty four hours. He knew that I didn't yeah, know a lot about that. him, so he comes to me, the person who knows the least about him, and is like, "Can you interview me?" Like, oh. So there Every, you have it. Wow. That's what they're capable of. And also, Nate the Lawyer has a video up about this as well. So I've got one up. Nate the Lawyer's got one they, up. They even did Nate the and Lawyer. And I've now got... Oh, yes, they did. Didn't work. No, it didn't really work. But as far as I remember, his children were threatened as well. Oh, my God. So isn't that ironic, you guys? Are you listening out there? Everybody who, basically everybody who was against Steve or whatever, their children eventually end up getting harassed or threatened. Isn't that mm -hmm. isn't that ironic? Don't you think? It's like Ray and on your wedding day. You know what I'm saying? Like there's too many things, and every day we learn more. Like that is such a huge connection. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. I mean, the, it, there's no way that's random. No way. There's no way that's random. I, I, in my opinion, there's no way that's random. I'm really sorry that happened to you. You don't deserve that. I'm that's really, awful. really sorry. I don't want it. I don't want. What I'm going to do? I'm going to. Sorry, I was going to say, I know what it's like to have somebody your... lie on your name like that. It's the worst. That's a horrible lie to spread, you know? Are you going to get the link? Is that what you said? What I'm doing is I'm going to get a link. Um, it's to a video I recently put up 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a screenshot from it, if I can find it. Okay, I'm copying this link with the timestamp. And if you don't, if you don't play it, you just. But I don't think you can put it in my chat because you're not a moderator. I don't think you can post links though. Um, it's in the internal, right? It's in the internal chat. Oh, the private chat. Duh. I'm sorry. I'm a freaking widow. Right. right. All right. Okay. So I have it here. Okay. That, that timestamp. Oh. No, that timestamp. Just. Did you just see the what? photograph? Play it. Did you see play the it? photograph? No, just just that that timestamp. Just the still photograph that's there. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let me play the, play the show the yes. still photograph. Okay, let me do it. All right. Is okay. Here we go. Let me make it bigger. Hold on. Whoops, wrong one. See if Hold you on. get that. I got like ninety five tabs open here. <laughs> All right. Right. You that you guys. That 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 is me sexually assaulting red rhetoric apparently. So you're you're saying this is the only time you ever got close to him, um, and that's why you're showing this. That was it. Yeah, that's it. So they, it. they turned it into yeah. an assault. He said, yeah, yeah. He said I ran up and I grabbed him and I sexually assaulted him by dragging him down and kissing him. That was our first moment of meeting. The moment that he claimed he was sexually assaulted. Yeah, in the His USA, his girlfriend like, who was there took that photograph. When you when you hear the word when you say the word assault it means like you mm. basically physically force somebody right like physically force like, like he thinks you, he's telling people in the middle of a freaking airport <laughs> so there you have it my elbows pushing him out the road but i'm the one that said have you ever assaulted. tried to uh confront him like why are, why did you say this kind of thing oh no i, I, I reds blocked me way back because i made a video about steve has he ever spoken yeah. out publicly about what you supposedly did to him? He said I didn't sexually assault him. Oh boy. <laughs> all those videos are, oh, yes. are gone. Like, are you kidding me? So hold on. But he's still friends and always was friends with Chesh and them, right? Wait, he's uh, Rez isn't friends with Chesh anymore. Oh, and it, ha it has nothing to do with this situation or does it? No, they had a very bad breakup at one point. Okay, yeah, I thought they used to go out. So he came out of and said that that never happened. So basically, Chester and Steve just made this shit up. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Wow. Sorry that yeah. happened. Yeah, that story is nuts. You're right. You're absolutely right. Thank you for sharing that. So, you know? All of you be careful, please. Because I'm still living with the fallout of this. And that was in November 2019 that that accusation was first made. Wow. So just be aware. We are now in June 2022. And I'm still living with the fallout of it. Wow. Um, hi, Keon. Minute. We're not. Keon, did you call in to tell me how much you love me? Oh. Sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Hey, what's up? Hi, Keon. Did you call to oh. tell me how much you love me? Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, not much at this point, but um, I got I, I just want to ask some questions to, to Fiona Roberts. She knows me um, because I remember about, uh, about this incident where uh, Cheshire said uh, that about uh, about Fiona, and I supported her back in 2020, I guess. Uh, I think so. yes. Even in 2018, because that that was when the situation with the uh, with Earl David Warren started almost three years ago, I think. And yes, right now, uh, before before I start with my question, I, I just want to say, I am being neutral here. I am not in favor of Steve or Cheshire, nor I'm going to defend Cheshire here. You know, I have been following this for three years. And right now, I'm a, I'm against everyone. I gotta say, but I I want to thank AC for allowing me to, to ask some questions to Fiona, in particular. Uh, and the first question that I want to make is, uh, if after the accusation that Josh made to you, uh, Fiona, <clears throat> were there there threats against you? People call you call. Uh, to the local police in I don't know I don't know where you live in 
wherever you live, uh, you know. Or you know, said you know where I live? Is, uh, oh no, oh no, it was much worse than that. Uh, excuse me. Keon, did you just ask her like that she had threats made against her? Is that what you just were asked there her? Yeah, were there threats against you? Yeah. Um, there was an no, absolute no, no, no. harass. Okay, I'll stay quiet while you right, ask me well, a whole bunch of questions. And I won't answer them. Keon, you just asked her a question. Just let her let her answer it. The main question is: Did, did you receive uh, messages, weird messages, from people on, on the internet yes. after the, the accusation was made? Yes. Uh, do you have it with you, um, Keon? That you had to. Yes. Keon, I wouldn't show you any of the stuff I got. I just wouldn't do it because I don't trust you. But what you, you need to know is, honestly, what you need to know is that I was, with the emphasis on the past tense, I was someone who supported survivors. I can no longer do that because of the accusation. I cannot do it anymore. Okay, so I am not allowed so to. Keon, can I ask you something? Like, is there a reason um, yes, why you're doubting? Why, why is there a reason why you're doubting Fiona? Why? Why do you? Why are you? I understand people like to ask for proof and evidence. I get that, but like, why are you even doubting her? Especially since Red's I rhetoric already said that. Don't doubt I, like, doesn't Red's rhetoric no. say it didn't happen? Okay. Like, um, that's why I'm confused. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, that video that I gave you. I don't care much about Red's. The, the video I gave you, Easy, actually contains the videos of Cheshire making the accusation and her explaining it on the shills, admitting how she made it up as a layered argument. All of those clips are in the video that I put into your private chat so you you can watch that video at your leisure and if people don't believe me a mod can drop that link into the live chat and everybody can go and have a look at it where those clips are of cheshire making the accusation and of cheshire admitting why she made the accusation and yeah, especially clips are there. Hear, hearing that red's rhetoric admitted that you never did that that's huge too because he was the one that was supposedly you know assaulted right the, that clip is in the video as well. So, Keon, did you have any other questions it's... for Fiona? Let me see. Um, so, well, maybe not a question, but uh, a commentary on, on on what happened after the accusations. What I understand is that for, for, at some point, maybe there was some harassment on on Fiona, like people in in the form of people telling to the police in uh, Scotland. I think that the Fiona was doing this or that. But on the other hand, is Fiona? No. I think she. There was nothing like that. No, I'm the one that went to the police in Scotland. I I went to the police in Scotland. Okay. I went to because the police. Working, they have yeah. the entire, they have the entire okay. file of everything that has happened since that date. There's a file on my desktop labeled for the police. They have all of that information. They have all the videos. They have all the tweets. But the problem is, it's very difficult to go after someone overseas, even when what they have what, done what, is a why? crime in their country. Keon, what? What is um the point here? Like we already know it didn't happen. The the victim okay. admitted it didn't happen. Like so, what? Why does it matter? Are you are you saying, hey Fiona, I know you're right, and I know you were lied on, but I don't believe you about the harassment. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. All right. Well, um, I don't know. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> and then Fiona, I'm sorry. Don't feel like you have to answer. Like I'm just trying to like, you know, I'm giving okay. everybody a voice here. That's all yeah. I'm trying to do. So don't anybody feel like you have to answer anything. <laughs> but like Keon, if they know that they lied on her and they continue to let people believe the lie okay. against her, then that's proof of harassment. You don't need to go any further. Because I think that uh, there were who lied. Okay, okay. I think that there, there was nothing like like lie, but an argument, and the argument was uh, Cheshire was making an argument. You know? 
that that just because she believes in race <clears throat> and at that moment and i'm talking about 2020 not 2022 not 2021 2020 and that is that just because she believes reds uh, whatever he, you know what? he if tells I were you, to, to, to her to change. I were you, yeah. Keon, I would say this. Instead of calling to ask, you know, or to insinuate that maybe she's not telling the truth, why don't you hit up Cheshire or Steve or somebody and be like, why did you lie on Fiona like that? Like, that's, I can't stop thinking yeah. of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, what, where am I lying? Where am I lying? No, not you. I'm asking. Uh, I'm saying they lie. Why don't you care about how they lie? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what to do, Easy, if you want to sort this out. Story. I'm just all set with I'll him. tell you what you can do. <laughs> I, I can't. Right, I, I'm going to give you. Go to the video. Go to. No, you know what? I'm not doing two anything. minutes. This is, this is three. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. No. This is stupid. Why is this dude yeah. questioning that? Why doesn't he go ask? Why did you guys lie on Fiona? That's a serious accusation. Why does he care about that when he should be asking the people that lied on you and ruined a reputation and admittedly the victim, quote unquote victim, admitted it never happened? Like that's. I can't stop thinking about that. Fuck everything else. <laughs> You know, and listen, Fiona, you don't need to prove nothing, mm -hmm. dude. Like, listen, yeah, what we'll do is the dude admitted you didn't do it. That's all. That's it. If nobody wants to believe it, you were harassed or whatever. Yeah. Like, and Keon knows better from where I understand. And Keon, I'm sorry I hung up on you. This is just ridiculous, okay? And I don't want to, and I should, I should have asked Fiona if she even wanted to talk to you. So I apologize, Fiona. I, I didn't consider that. Sometimes I don't. Honestly, it's not a problem. Yeah. I like, have put in your live chat just the name of the video so that if anybody wants to go and see it, Okay. They can actually see it and see yeah, I'm sorry. the videos of Chesh making the accusation. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then Keon, like, um, so Keon know. doesn't get to. Yeah, this I'm is sorry. What, and this is what they do. They will rewrite history. They will try and say, no, 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 that's not what Chesh said, or oh, she wasn't really making it seriously. It was just a layered argument. Yeah, it might have. Um, I just don't understand why that's a talking point. If they like... hadn't spread it out, yeah, they didn't admit it was nonsense until a good few weeks later. Right. And um, like I said, Keon, so I, Keon I, I, can go and. Ooh, yeah, I had Fiona on. I wanted to hear your story. And Keon, I, I'm sorry I took you off, but I just felt like um, you you were just derailing the conversation. So you have to forgive me for kicking you for kicking you off, Keon. I just I just can't understand that that's what you're thinking about. I'm thinking about wow, I can't believe these people did this to this girl. And you're thinking about oh, but yeah, okay, so you were done wrong, but did you really get harassed? Like I don't know. I just think it's freaking weird. And Keon, I'm a little disappointed because like I know you watch Uni Rock. I've seen you in there. Like you know that these people are who they are. You used to love Katie Joy. I know that. That's about all I know of you. But like, why? I don't know. It's just like a weird thing to bring up. And it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like somebody sent them in here to derail, huh? In my opinion, I could be wrong. Yeah. It's almost like and a disruption. I think that's because you'd, you'd gone in on McCray, basically, mm -hmm. and you'd gone in on those that are being ridiculous about KGP because Steve yep. needs to keep his lawsuit going. Yep, and this is so not the only time. Effort. This is not the only time my live stream has been derailed when I brought Steve up. This is not the only time. Yeah. Ask yourself: Is this a coincidence? Are there coincidences? Are there lots of red flags? Do you think this is weird yet, etc.? Okay, and Steve McRae, you're a piece of shit, by the way. Um, you Applebee's motherfucker. You should probably just like boom out somewhere else and stop trying to make me look like the bad guy. Cause let me tell you something. I have established my reputation in this community, and sir, so have you. Have a seat. All right, Fiona, thank you for coming on. Everybody loves you. Every time I see you, everyone's like, I love Fiona. <laughs> no problem. Listen, I'll get out of here and let you get back to it. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna end this anyways. I gotta cook lunch. They will do. Yeah, I gotta cook for my kids, so I gotta get going. Take Steve, care. I gotta thank, go too. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on, Stacey. I love when you come on and be my sidekick. Um, appreciate it. And then all my moderators, you guys rock. Thank you so much for everybody coming. I do have to run. This is one of the longest live streams I've ever done ever. Okay, we're on three and a half hours here. That's crazy. That's like foreign to me. But um, anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't seen the whole thing, go start it. This was very interesting. And um, love you a long time. <laughs>